Hi everyone, it's Adam Torrens here again from the EdTech Coaches. Today I'm going to show you how to make really good stickers on Keynote. The reason I use Keynote is because it's completely template free. Uh, the students can use it as an easy graphic design software tool. And the last thing, it doesn't have wrapping, which means when I move one object on top of another one, it doesn't affect any of the objects. So to get started, I want to add a white slide. So before I get started, I want to have a plan. I want to know what shape my stick is going to be, what the content is going to be, and the colors. So I already know it's going to be an inquirer sticker. This is going to be for those students who uh, do different sorts of inquiry, and when they do a great job, I want to reward them for that. So to get started, I push the plus and I add a circle. I want to set the size now before I start doing anything else so I know what shape I'm working with. Now to edit that circle, I go to the paintbrush and style. I want to make this circle more lighter, so I'm going to choose a light blue. And then in style, I can turn the border on and I'll make the border orange. I think orange goes with blue nicely. I'm actually going to make that width of the border nice and thick. That way it'll appear like the uh, magnifying glass for inquirer is going to come out of the sticker. And then my shadow I'm going to turn off because I'm going to cut my circle anyway. Now that I've got my circle, I want to search for an uh, image for my sticker. So in Google Images, I search for magnifying glass icon. The reason that I add the word icon is because it gives me nice, simple images that I can use. And the other thing it does is it stops inappropriate images from coming up on student devices. Now there are two types of icons in images. There is one that if I touch, I can see that it has squares for the background. The squares means that it's transparent and I won't have a background in that image. But I actually don't want that magnifying glass, I want this one. But it does have a white background and I can show you how to get rid of it. Save image. So I go back to Keynote and in Keynote I click on the plus, images, and just to show you that first magnifying glass, you can see that it has no background and it is a little bit see-through there you can see. So it's got a transparency already built into it. I'm going to delete that one so I can show you how to get rid of the white background on another icon. So I'll shrink this one down for you. Now I really want to put this in there but I do have that white background. What I do is push the paintbrush image and then instant alpha. Instant alpha when you touch one color and drag out it will delete that one color from the image. So now I do have the magnifying glass that I want and it has no background. So I want to keep that within the circle so it's nice and easy to cut later but I want it on top of the border so it sticks out a little bit. Now I want to add my inquirer word so the students know what they're getting it for. I add text and I can zoom out a little bit now and I can add the word inquirer. Now when I tap on it and push the paintbrush I can play around with the text a little bit. I can make the color orange again to keep that color theme going. I want to make it bold because the sticker is a little bit small and I want those words to stand out. And I want to choose a font that's a little bit more fun for students and marker felt is usually quite good. Now with two fingers I can zoom in and if I put two fingers on the word, I can rotate that as well and put that where I want it to go. I can try and make that a little bit bigger by putting on the paintbrush, pushing the paintbrush and making that word fit nicely where I want it to go. Finally, to get ready for printing, I can hold down one object. In this case, I'm holding down the magnifying glass and then I tap the other objects while I'm holding it down. And this menu will come up. I select group. Now all those objects are grouped together, I can actually tap on it and copy the whole group, tap on the white space and paste. And that way I can get all my Inquirer stickers printed in one go. So that's how you make stickers in Keynote that's template free. Students can make whatever content they want with stickers, print them out, cut them out and hand them to whoever they want. Thank you for listening and please subscribe for more.